understand it's survival. So continuing forward, so now we've dried out our acorn. Now we're going to powderize them and leach them up. Stay tuned. Okay, so here's my bandana with my acorn in it. This batch is the acorn with the skin still on. Smells delicious. Nice and sweet smelling. <clears throat> and it has a bit of an orange hue to it. The acorn that was de-skinned has more of a yellow look to it. This is the acorn that was de-skinned. This is the acorn that still has a skin on it. It has more of a, a rusty look to it. This is more of a golden look to it. I actually took a picture while they were drying and it was very vivid. Alright, so I'm going to do both batches tonight. Start with the skin on. So I'm just going to work to powderize this. Once this is all set, all powderized, then I'm going to just throw it on this piece of birch bark just to hold the powder. And I'll just keep working at it until I've done it all. It doesn't take long at all. Um, it's actually along nicely right now. Won't be too much longer for this actually batch is already done. You just have to lightly kind of roll over it. You don't really want to push it around. You want to just kind of run the rock over it and it kind of tumbles through the acorn and it just pulverizes it. Yeah, I mean, this is already, this patch is already done. Not sure what that, actually seems like a, not sure what that is, a piece of cattail or something. All right. So as you can see, just that fast, just a, a minute. This stuff's already super fine powder. So I'm going to put it here and keep going. Decent pile right there. Okay, and now the de skinned acorn. Do 
nice fine grain. Definitely a good flour. So I'm going to add that to my piece of birch. And I'll put it on the other side. skinned acorn. So this is just the acorn meat and not the skin attached to it. And this one is the skin attached to the acorn meat. I'll give you guys a close-up of the difference. Alright, as you can see, huge difference in color. So the skinned is very rusty, very orange, and yellow for the, the meats just by themselves. There's a good amount there too. Okay, as you can see, pretty sizable piles. I mean, there's a, a decent muscle shell. And that pile is about about the same height. So, good amount, a little less over there. Okay, so super easy. All I did was just let it dry out. I mean, it really only takes an hour or two. It's good to go. And then I just ground it up. So the next step is I'm going to put it into the same bandanas that they were in just a moment ago. And I'm going to leach them. So we'll get right on that in another video. That's for Machine Survival. Appreciate your views. Come see your support. See you guys in the next one. Take care.